Hello and welcome to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. Today we're going to talk through the prefab info command. <clears throat> I see this come up a lot on Discord. People asking that their builds show up in red and they can't spawn them in, etc. etc. So I thought I'd just do a quick tutorial to basically explain the command and how to make your blueprint legal. So first of all, I've pulled the, when I find it, the Formax Super Space Station from the workshop. So you can see this in red. So obviously I'm in create, creative. So we'll spawn that in. We know it's broken. So because this is from the workshop, we'll need to save a copy. So, open your command window, PI for prefab info, I'll copy the name, so there you see it says no blueprint found, so this happens as well, so what you do is you rename it, but just take out the spaces. And that should fix that. There we go. <clears throat> so first of all, it's telling me it's got too many plasma turrets, too many flak, and the cannon turrets are obsolete. And then also it's got the forbidden blocks which I know because I've looked at this before is the harvestable plants. So you can either uh, get a DI for the command window and You can either use the command console using the replace blocks command to get rid of these items or you can go around and manually remove them which obviously takes more time the or well, somebody said to me when it was discussed on the i think it was the official discord that sometimes the <clears throat> excuse me the uh replace blocks command can be a bit funny if you if you go for empty but we'll give it a go so you see those there they're the uh base cannon old so this is 10 15. so we'll try it now i will include the console commands in the description because I have them all, well, the ones I use most often, I have in a little text doc on my desktop, so it's easy to copy paste them rather than go and look them up all the time, because even I can't remember them. So that's turret. Base cannon old and then empty. Size of blocks are different. Source target. Okay. <clears throat> so it won't let me remove those. So 
if you've got a block in your hand, you don't need to use the multi tool. So if you hold left shift and then right click, you can remove them that way. So we go around. For this purpose, I think I'll just get rid of all the turrets because obviously it's overloaded with them anyway. Okay, so I think <clears throat> there's two more. Okay, I think that's all of them. So I'll oh and overwrite the blueprint. Rerun it. So you can see now it's got rid of the uh, limits on the turrets and turrets old has gone. So now we know these are just harvestable plants. So here's a farm. Right. Let's try this again. So that works there. So that's got rid of those. Alien plant to 20, stage one. Oh no, there's no tube. No? Oh, desert. There we go. Now they're gone.
this uh, PI prefab info is also quite handy if you want to convert a POI or OPV to a player version, which I'll, I'll show you after this. I think that was the only farm on this build. So again, overwrite your save. No, so it's still some blue peppers somewhere. Okay, there we go. I didn't build this, by the way. I don't know why it's saying that. I'm not the original creator, so just let's be clear on that one. So that's now all good. And now it shows up as white in your blueprint list. So this should now be good to go to spawn in survival. I mean, this has obviously been on the workshop a while. So you might, well, you know, depending on whether you're single player or whatever. I mean, class size is 30, so that's quite big for a station. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, if you wanted to revamp it or update it even more, then you could. But in essence, now it should be a legal blueprint. Some require more than others. Um... OPV. So we'll pick the. This is. We'll go for this one. This is the Polaris Heavy Freighter. No, we won't. Um, <clears throat> Polaris. Let's try that. Okay, we'll go for the destroyer. And this is a. Uh, for millions, I believe. So this is currently an OPV. So we'll just save as... So here we go. So on this one, we've got the uh, alien blocks, the <clears throat> Xerox rocket turrets, some alien containers, obviously an NPC core, spawner plates, marker block, uh, another container, and some turrets. So. So now that's a Xerox turret. Or that one. Like I said before, if you know the 
proper name for it, you can do this on the command console, but they all look like player turrets. Oh, apart from that one at the front. Okay, so we'll swap out the core for a player core. Turn it off. Okay, so. No, nope, no. Nope. Yeah, 10.16, so. So replace blocks, the build ID what you want to replace <clears throat> and then what you want to replace it with. So as you can see, that spawner plate's gone. And that should have removed all the other spawner plates. So if we just Let's get you overwrite that. So you can see now We've just got the containers, the marker block, and the alien blocks to go. <clears throat> so now we've just got the alien blocks the other thing you might want to do is go through and get rid of any crew So these alien blocks, these are here at the back on this. 
so if you want a again you can do it manually or by hand So hopefully now, there, there we go. So it doesn't give anything in the PI to say that it can't be used in player mode. Obviously it says, you know, it's a CV, public, file name, created by Vermillion. Obviously I'm the last person to modify it. The other details there, but the main thing is now is that would need a bit more work if you choose to but as a bare minimum that now makes that a player build <clears throat> again i will put the uh commands in the description hope you've enjoyed today's video as always please like and give a thumbs up thanks for watching and i will see you next time